All right, so they released the FRQs this morning, so I'm gonna go through all of them. Um, if you guys got different FRQs, as a note, this is what most people got, but um, if you guys got different ones when you took it this year, like they're not gonna release those, I can't do solutions for those. These are the released FRQs, which is what most people took. And also if there's any uh, mistakes that I have, I will put it in the, a pinned comment and in the description below. So let's take a look at this. Uh, biologists gather data on this, um, the plot of data based on the scatterplot describe the relation between mass and length in context. Okay, so you always want to hit up the uh, the strength, the direction. So I would say there is there is a positive. <clears throat> um, looks pretty linear, linear, um, and then the strength. I would say that's strong. That's pretty strong. That's pretty linear. You could say moderate or strong here. Maybe I would say moderate. Well, I would say strong. It's hard to tell. That's a little bit subjected. Uh, relationship between the... Um, so you always want to hit up those. The direction, the shape, and the strength. And it's between the length and mass of the bullfrog, and usually you wanna say if there's any outliers. I don't see anything. There are no apparent outliers. Okay, uh, between the length, um, and you might wanna put the units here. That's not critical, but just it just helps a little bit um, on there. Um, okay, that's probably all you need to say. From the data, the biologist calculated the least squares regression line for predicting mass from length. The least squares regression line is shown in plot two. Identify and interpret the slope of the least squares regression line in context. Okay, so the slope <clears throat> is always you want to say on average, or you could say the predicted value. You want to say something that is not guaranteed. So you want to say on average or predicted uh, for, and then you want to say for every increase in the x value by one, increase in, um, one millimeter in length of a bullfrog. There's probably a better way to say that. The mass increases by the value. So you wanna say for every one increase in the X value, there's one increase or there's the slope value increases by 6.086 grams. And you wanna say on average, you can put it somewhere in the air or at the end, or you wanna say the predicted value of the mass increases by that. Something that you know it's not like, it's not 100% guaranteed. It's not like you one millimeter longer, it's definitely 6.086 grams more. It's just that about approximately or like on average or predicted. That's what you wanna say. I usually like to use on average. Some people like to use predicted, either is fine. Determin uh, interpreting R squared. R squared interpretation is always the same. You want to say 81.9%, you just take that value, of the variation in the frog's mass. Let's say in the, what was it? Is it a bullfrog's mass? Is it a bullfrog? Yeah, bullfrog's mass. In bullfrog's mass can be explained by its length. Okay. Uh, from plot do consider the residuals of 11 bullfrogs. Based on the plot approximately, what is the length of mass of a bullfrog with the largest absolute value residual? So largest residual, <clears throat> residual is the vertical distance between the point and the line. And I would say this guy probably has the largest residual. He's got the largest vertical distance from the line. That's the residual. So, and they're asking for, what were they asking for? The length of the Approximately, what is the length of mass of the bullfrog with the largest absolute value? Uh, oh, just this guy. They just want you to identify him. So he has a length of about, I don't know, we'll call that 162 millimeters. And his mass is, we'll just call that 355 grams or something like that. We'll say 355 grams and 162 millimeters. Okay. Does the least squares regression line overestimate or underestimate the mass of the bullfrog identified? Well, the line, the predicted value is here. We would predict that his thing is like more like 440 grams, right? 
And so you may want to say something like um, it over overestimates. And you could do this directly because the predicted value, predicted value of a bullfrog with length 102 millimeters is, and I might, rather than estimate that value from the graph, I might actually use the equation here. I don't know if they would require you to do that, but um, I would, I, that's what I would do, 6.086, just because I have the information and I did predict a value. Uh, minus 546 plus 6.086 times 162 is 439.932 grams, which is greater, is greater than the actual value of 355 grams. One thing, they want you to be specific. Don't just say greater. Say, why is it greater? What's the number? If you have numbers, always use numbers to compare. Okay, that's like my recommendation. They want to know exactly that you're estimating it's bigger than that. All right.